You're watching Fox 9, live at the fair. Oh, look at that. A little heat and humidity is not stopping any of these good folks from coming out to the great Minnesota get-together. And They're stopping by our Fox 9 booth first. We appreciate that. And thanks you at home watching, too, on this Monday morning live from the great Minnesota get-together. Every day there are special events happening here at the State Fair. Here's an important one for families today. Today is Sensory Friendly Day at the Mighty Midway in Kidway. From 9 in the morning till noon, rides and games will have reduced light, brightness, and sound volume. And there's also another spot at the fairgrounds that's serving as the oasis, if you will, for families. You can check out the Fraser Sensory Building that's located near the Home Improvement Building by the Education Building as well. Give you another kind of point of interest. This morning we are joined by Gina Brady from Fraser. She's here and let's welcome her to the Fox 9 booth. Good to have Gina here. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's our pleasure. Uh, tell us about the, the work you're doing here at the fair and why it's important for w when we have uh, some families and there's some sensory, you know, uh, what, what do we, how do we want to put it? Yeah, some sensory differences. Differences, Yeah, sure. so this is our fourth year out at the fair. Super excited to be back. Uh, we've learned some things each year, and we have lots of activities for everyone. So some people might need a place where they can get some energy out. So we have lots of activities available where people can touch, feel, mm -hmm. move around, and engage with. Yeah. And then we have part of our building that is really this calm, quiet space. So if anything at the fair feels too loud, too chaotic, too overwhelming, they can kind of come hit the reset button for a while and then get back to the fun. I love it. And on a day like today, they might be really popular, folks, because your building is air-conditioned. It is. It <laughs> is. Yeah. So really important part of when we're wanting to help people feel calm sure. is making sure they're not too hot. That's yeah. Right. So we keep that building nice and cool. That is a good thing. As best we can. <laughs> right. Exactly. So what are some other things families can do to be mindful of, of being cognizant of, of, of that and some of the sensory uh, uh, differences when they're at the state fair? Uh, bringing your own sensory tools is a big thing, so making sure you have things like noise reducing headphones or fidgets or whatever might be helpful for your individualized sensory no. needs. Then when you're exploring the rest of the fairgrounds away from the Fraser Sensory Building, you have some tools available. Right, because it can be it can be daunting for someone who, uh, you know, falls into that category because there are a lot of people here typically. You're kind of packed into one place. There's some loud sounds. Uh, people are laughing and, and having a good time, but but it might be a challenge. Yeah, definitely. The crowds, I think, are a huge part of it. You get the smells from the animal barns. It's just really a big sensory intense sure. experience. Right. Uh, and tell us about the families you help at Frazier and how you, if there maybe is a family watching right now who says, maybe I want to go there with my child or children and get some help. What yeah. kind of services do you provide? So we are a nonprofit in Minnesota. We provide autism, mental health, and disability services across the lifespan, so children through adults. And people can visit our website, Frazier.org, to get more information. All right, Gina Brady from Frazier, let's give her a round of applause. Thanks for being here. Yeah, thank Great you. information. We appreciate it. And tell us again, Gina, where your building is located. We are on Cosgrove Street across from the Education Building mm -hmm. next to the Home Improvement Building. Very very good. And it's kind of by the Kidway, too, right? Yes. Okay. Yep. Really close. Good. Thanks so much. Uh, 